And the Lord is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to give thanks. He is worthy to, to be lifted up at this place. Amen. Amen. The one that never gave up on us. The one that never let us down. Oh, we love him. week of John, First John. It's been really, really nice having you guys all come and um, be a part of this. I just pray that you'll be blessed, you'll be glad you came, and that God will minister to your hearts as he did already through uh, Mary's beautiful leading of our worship. And, and so may he continue to bless our time together as we get into his word. So who does overcome? Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Good overcomes evil. Yeah. And that is not our natural bent, is it? Someone does us wrong, we want to do them wrong right back, don't we? The golden rule is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. <laughs> Sometimes we want to do unto others before they do unto us. <laughs> or do unto others as they do unto us, don't we? And the Word of God lives in you. Mm. And you have overcome the evil one. We have overcome. We have no reason to fear what the enemy could do to us. Have you ever felt like you're in spiritual warfare? Like it's just one attack right after the other, right after the other. Remind yourselves, we are overcomers. It's not that we will be overcomers. We are. And as it says here, because you are strong and the word of God abides in us. And as it says in John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning is the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word, it says in verse 14, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus Christ, he indwells us. So we have already overcome. Who's testifying there? God himself. And what is he saying? This is my son. This is my son. He who comes to him, him must first believe that he is who he says he is. He is the son of God. He is not um, Lucifer's spirit brother. He is not a God. I went to a funeral last Friday where they referred to Jesus Christ. It sounded good. Everything sounded great. The only problem was it was the wrong Jesus. Yeah, he died for our sins. He did this and did that. and Everything sounded so Christian. But who do they believe Jesus is? They believe, with well, this particular one, believe that he is a... God, a little g, God, a God. A God cannot die for our sins and save us, a little g. But the Son of God, the man, Christ Jesus, the God-man, 100% man, 100% God, that's what it would take to die for the sins of mankind. So don't ever let anyone say, oh yeah, I believe in Jesus. Who is your Jesus? You know what, Michelle, I think I love this passage because it right there is the Trinity also. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Cheryl, and explain that. To oh, okay, where well, it says, um, it references as soon as Jesus, who is the mm -hmm. second person of the Trinity, was baptized, he went up out of the water, and at that mo moment heaven was open and he saw the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, descending like a dove 
and lighting on him and the voice which is from the father right the voice from heaven said this is my son whom I love and with him I'm well pleased oh, our great triune God yeah. right there yeah. in that passage thank you Cheryl for bringing that out 